Hey, good morning. It's early, and I'm trying to keep it a little bit quieter in the house this morning. But I posted some of this last night. The Lord began to give me uh, a word after dinner last night about Noah. And uh, actually, it was even before that. It was out when I was walking. And he took me to Matthew 24. And when I read it, I was blown away. Um, it just talks about everything that's going on prophetically around us right now in the world. And he said to me, the Holy Spirit took me back to that scripture in Matthew 24, that this is like the days of Noah, that a lot of people are just living their lives, getting married, doing the day to day, and they don't realize that so much more is going on underneath it all. And, uh, to make this as short as possible, the Lord was showing me a rainstorm. And he said there are is a rainstorm, but it means something different for two kinds of people. Those that are in the house of the Lord, those that have Jesus as Savior and Lord, it comes as a cleansing rain, yes, but also a redemption rain to restore and the Lord said, hide yourself in me till all these calamities pass by. And he took me back to the story of Noah and how he had Noah build an ark to escape the coming flood. And we know that physically in these days in the earth, there won't be another physical flood. But this is a figurative flood, uh, one that is coming upon the whole earth. And for God's people, he wants us to get into the ark of his presence so that he may shut us in. And again, he says, he'll hide yourself in me till all these calamities pass by. And so that's the rain. And it also comes as more than a revival. It comes as a refreshing. It comes to give life, to bring life. And it's like the river, uh, he talks about um, in the New Jerusalem, the river of life that flows and brings healing to his nation and his people. And then on the other side of this um, is another kind of rain, and it is a flood, and it will drown out those and that do not know him and are not in Christ, are not in the ark. So the picture, even though it was physical in Noah's time, it comes as a spiritual picture for now. And uh, the Lord is calling all people. He said this morning, he reminded me of the scripture, for God so loved the world. He loves everyone and everything he made. But he is the way, the truth, and the life, and the only way. And for us to be safe in him during these times that are already coming upon us, we need to be in Christ. And he was telling me this morning, he said, listen for the distant thunder. And I can hear it. I can hear it in the spirit. I know that we're in a time and what he is saying is where the heat and the cold are going to come together, the light of God and the light of God's people and the darkness of Satan, the kingdom of darkness, and they're going to clash. And this uh, has already been foretold uh, in the word of God. It happened. And the Lord says that he was, is, and is to come. So everything as he lives outside of eternity the, the word of God is the living word, and it happens, and it happens again. And uh, right now, we are heading into a very wonderful time to be alive and to be in Christ as we see his glory fall upon the earth uh, through his people. Uh, he said, we'll shine brighter than the stars of the heavens, but also a time of great shaking, great trial, and great loss, and great sadness. It's a great battle. It's between the darkness and the light. And, you know, the end is not yet. We know that there are many things still yet to come, uh, and we don't know the time of his return. But he did tell us to look at the seasons like the fig tree, and we'll know that when the time is near. And so a lot of people, and I've heard some say, you know, well, I'm just going to wait until Jesus comes back. That's all I'm doing, you know, and that's not his heart at all. We are to be, uh, as he says in Matthew 24, we are to be faithful servants doing what he told us to do until he returns. And the Great Commission is our call, and each of us have gifts that the Lord will use that he's given to us to bring people into the kingdom. So this is a great time not to be sitting still and staring at the sky, 
like the angel said to the disciples when Jesus was taken up. He said he's coming back, but you're to be about doing what he's called you to do in this time. So anyway, I hope you have a great day. I know this is a hard word for many, and it's a word of rejoicing for others. And it's still going to be a time of trial, but we know that the Lord is with it in us, and he who began a good work in us will be faithful to complete it, and he perfects that which concerns us. So I hope you rejoice in him, and uh, have a great day.